Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 2nd of August 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, now let's see exactly what's uh, what's happening here, folks, in terms of uh, the uh, price action this morning. We certainly have had the uh, Japanese markets down by 1.5%. The Shanghai certainly finishing stronger, up 0.6%, uh, and certainly uh, a mixed picture there. Uh, we certainly have uh, had uh, fiscal uh, stimulus certainly authorised by Mr. Abe this morning, uh, and uh, it certainly seems that the markets are totally ignoring the BOJ, given the fact that the uh, USD JPY handle has lost the 102 level, and we certainly are going into a descent. Even though the uh, the QE certainly has been authorised, the markets certainly are not biting at present, or... Alternatively, one could argue that the uh, the QE was certainly already priced in. Although US markets certainly are remaining stubborn and certainly remain afloat and remain bullish. Okay, In terms of European markets this morning, it certainly has been very weak with the likes of um, Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank certainly being butchered this morning. Banking sector in Europe certainly is hit hard, along with the Euro stocks certainly uh, selling off quite uh, vociferously if, uh, as well. Now again, uh, the oil stock certainly, um, uh, well, we had oil below uh, at, at the $40 level at 39 uh, The pivot low on oil being, let's just bring up a chart for you, of oil. Okay, so we've got a chart of Brent here. And the pivot low on Brent, let's just bring up the pivot low on Brent. Brent was $42, that was a pivot low on Brent. Also of crude oil here as well. Bear with me whilst I just bring that up. <clears throat> Bear with me. Let's just bring this up as well. So the chart of oil. Okay, let's just bring the chart of oil. Okay, so bringing up a chart of crude oil here, you can see the pivot low here being 39.8. We certainly have bounced from there. The daily chart obviously being into gap fill support as well. Okay, so again, certainly bouncing here too. Okay, although European stocks, like I said, certainly remain weak on the back of this uh, potential uh, uh, Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank certainly exiting the uh, Euro stocks 50 index. And again, that certainly is hurting the index overall. And obviously banking sector certainly sending this market lower. If I just bring up the banking sector as well, folks certainly is selling off uh, European banking stocks okay weekly chart daily chart clearly see bearish engulfing candles certainly uh, indicating low oil. although you are now arguing one could argue you are potentially into uh, some type of support here okay so again going on to the 60 minute chart certainly the uh, downdraft again potential support in this zone okay although having said that the market certainly is fixated on the fact that uh, we are uh, certainly under pressure due to commodities, due to banking sector, and therefore the, the actual indices are moving lower. Uh, in terms of economic data this morning uh, from the European session, really it was Swiss retail sales certainly coming out strong, weaker than expected. Uh, PMI construction data for, for for the UK certainly came out stronger, okay, at 45 point potentially 9. Let us bring up the actual data itself. <clears throat> now the previous figure, if I can recollect, uh, the previous figure being oh, certainly came above a consensus uh, expectations but the uh, previous figure was certainly was certainly slightly stronger inflation data out of the eurozone certainly coming in on the stronger side therefore you're seeing the euro, the euro usd at 1.19 and again that, that certainly is exerting pressure on european equities and fading and not allowing them to bounce as such at all uh, the uh, economic data from the us personal spending uh, cpi uh, personal consumption expenditure, red book sales, again, that's going to be quite important as to the potential next direction in the market. So all eyes on there, okay, folks? All eyes on that. For now, let's just look at the technical picture of the uh, indices now. Let's just bring up the German DAX first and foremost. Daily chart, German DAX broken out this rising contracting wedge pattern daily chart. 60-minute chart, one could argue potential support is seen here, although the actual HNS uh, target is at 10.120. Uh, again, like I said, the euro certainly are about, are around the 1.12 level. Adding also, given the fact that you have the uh, the uh, well HNS target at 10.120, and obviously you have Volkswagen now potentially under 
further investigation as well. So again, certainly uh, news itself, along with the banking sector, certainly hurting the European equities today. And again, watch out for that 10,120 target to be hit. Okay. 10 minute chart on German DAX. Uh, again, potentially carving out some sort of base here. But again, bear in mind that 10,120 support zone certainly remains intact. Okay. Oh, 10,120 uh, target is in the background. The French CAC now. Let's just bring up the French CAC on the daily chart. French CAC, okay, so flushed again, potentially coming into support soon. 60 minute chart of the French CAC into its 200 MA into gap fill, certainly an argument here for a potential move higher, okay? Certainly keep an eye on the French CAC. Okay, now FTSE 100. Uh, now the FTSE 100 has an interesting uh, potential pattern on the daily chart. You can so clearly see we flushed the pivot low being this 6610, 6620. But the 60 minute chart has a HNS target, okay? The HNS target on the FTSE at the moment is currently 6600. So again, looking for 6600 to potentially play out, okay, on the downside. So certainly keep an eye on that 6600 on the downside and for that target certainly to be completed. And the HNS target is, or HNS formation certainly is in play. 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment, again, we've certainly bounced off that pivot low at 6630, okay, on the FTSE. Uh, so again, certainly keep an eye on there. Uh, if we do move higher or continue to move higher, you have previous resistance equals support or previous support equals resistance, should I say. Okay, you have this diagonal trend line too. Take the pivot high, connect it to the next pivot high, and, and we're basically coming into potential resistance as we speak, okay, on the FTSE 100. So certainly looking for a lower high. Use your Fibonacci retracement tool as well. Take it from pivot high to the pivot low here, and you are into that 50% resistance zone, okay? So certainly keep an a keen eye on there okay in terms of the euro stocks again euro stocks failing to bounce folks and uh, mainly due to the fact that you have credit suisse deutsche bank certainly leaving the actual potential ba basket of the index itself okay uh, again the hns target being 2916 we certainly have hit 2916 and one would argue you are looking for a short squeeze but given the fact that we have the euro certainly higher given the fact that we have uh, Volkswagen under under obvious investigation, European banks all certainly are under immense stress and immense, immense pressure on the downside. Certainly look for potential weakness or further weakness to continue. Okay, I did expect the bounce, but it certainly has been feeble. No real bounce with the foot along with the FTSE or the US markets. And the next potential support zone is seen at 2900. So certainly keep an eye on that 2900 zone. Okay, so uh, I think that's a, a wrap for now, folks. Be sure uh, to visit cfds.com. For your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25% bonus. Goodbye.